Hey there, it's Stephanie. You can see I've got Tom's latest free template, the notebook, on the screen. And the reason why is because I wanted to show you how you can customize awesome templates like this and well-designed graphics to use in your e-learning courses. Now, we all know that if you change the color theme, it's going to change the look and feel of the solid colors that are in this um, notebook. But you can also change the fills from a solid color to a, a gradient or a textured color and create effects like this. And it's just really as easy as is changing colors and I'm just going to click on the next slide so you can see. So here I've got a textured fill as, a, as the cover of the notebook. The tabs have a textured uh, fill as well and you can see that the rings on the binding also have a gradient fill and that gradient fill creates a metallic kind of effect. I've put some clip art in and some text but you can see that it dramatically changes the, the way that notebook looks. Now if I didn't want to go through that process I could just go to the design menu and change my color scheme and by doing that, you can see as I'm sliding around here, it also um, affects the way that notebook looks. Now let me show you how I did the textures. And it does rely on, it doesn't, you, you do need some good quality textures to do this, but uh, you can find free textures on the internet. I'm just ungrouping all the objects here. You can find free textures on the internet. You can grab your camera and you can take your own uh, pictures of nature, which of, often has uh, some awesome textures that you can use too. Okay, so I've, I'm right clicking on the cover of the notebook and instead of having that solid theme fill of this kind of goldy yellow color, I'm going to change it to be a picture or texture fill. Now PowerPoint's going to fill it with whatever texture I last used and in this case you can see it was a brown paper bag effect and it's pretty cool actually even for the report cover. Just by having a good quality texture all of a sudden the notebook that looked computer generated looked a bit like clip art now is becoming more photorealistic. Now I don't want to use this actually for the front page. I'm going to change it and use a different texture. I have a bunch of different paper textures in my library and I'm going to use this one here. And just click on insert and it's going to come in. Now it's a little slow on my computer because these textures are high res textures so they're big files. So there might be a slight delay. Okay but that looks pretty good. Now the um, back part of the notebook, I'm going to keep that a solid fill, but I'm going to pick a different brown. This brown here, just so it complements some of the tones that are in that texture. And the tabs, I'm going to change them from solid to texture too. Now I'm going to grab that brown paper bag effect and use that on the tabs instead. And you're going to see why in a second, because it has some really cool edging on this particular effect. And it creates a kind of a worn look, so it almost looks like the tabs have already been you know, used quite a bit and it has like a bit of a curved look on the, on the texture. Now I don't want all three tabs to look the same, uh, be the same color, so I'm going to change the bottom one to be, um, let's say, green. Let's see if there's a green in the uh, preset template here. There's a green. And then I'm going to change the middle one to be a red. So let's take a look at that. And again, my computer's running just a little slow here today. Okay, and I think that's it. So when I close out, you can see that just by having texture fills and working with picture colors that this notebook looks quite nice um, and quite different from how it started out. Now the last thing that remains are these uh, spiral uh, rings, the binding. Now I'm changing these from a flat white into a gradient color because it's going to create a metallic um, realistic effect here. And I'm just going to show you how. I'm going to have to individually select each one of these and just take one more second. There we go. I'm just going to go up to the format menu in PowerPoint and from the shape styles um, menu I'm going to not select any of the themes that are going to pop up here. I'm going to go under other theme fills and use, um, whoopsie, there it is, and use this kind of gold fill. So it's a gradient fill and when I click off of the rings you can see the effect. So it creates a metallic looking effect. So there you go. There's a notebook that looks quite a bit different than um, the original. I can play with uh, co solid colors or I can fill it with textures and, um, and take it as far as I want. So hopefully you find that helpful and hopefully you explore the other articulate templates and play around with what you can do with those objects too. Thanks!